Professor Chopin, the Grand Duchess Joanna has sent me here. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, come in, Major. Uh, um, please, Major, please. Frederick, wake up. What's happened? You must go to the palace immediately. I'm not going there. Be quiet and get dressed. What's going on? Constantine has gone crazy again. Oh, God. Your father is right. You must go. Get dressed! We are fawning on that monster. Warsaw, Warsaw! Will Warsaw secure you a scholarship? No, but that monster will. And therefore, you must play for him. Now, go to sleep. You're exhausted. Faced beast? Me? You were barely seven. I still keep the memory of your beautiful eyes. Mature, beyond, beyond your age. I loved you. Even before you started to play.
You silent? I warn you, Chopin. I warn you. To assassinate me? Yes. You son of a bitch. Assassinate me? Are you mad? Bastard! Please! Oh. You bastard! Oh, no. You bastard! No. No. Here are depositions of six of the officers from the 4th Regiment. Oh, no. I can't believe it! Oh. You son of a bitch! I can't believe it! you from my own breast for you I alienated the Tsar and you you want to murder me murder me but I still love you so instead of shooting you, as my brother demands, you'll be sent to Siberia. Why must I witness this, Papa? Do you want to be on tomorrow's list as one who didn't? Bastards. Ungrateful bastards. Shackle them. Professor Chopin, the Grand Duchess Joanna has sent me here. Professor, please, hurry. Major, please tell the Duchess Joanna my son will never play for the Grand Duke Constantine again. Everyone whispers about the uprising, and I am running away like a thief. You will carry with you only 1,000 zlotties. The rest is deposited at Tepe Bank in Vienna. And watch out for pickpockets. Father, please, I must remain here. Don't you understand that you are enslaved here? They will never allow you to flourish. When you reach Paris, don't talk too much. With fame and fortune, cool heads prevail, not one in the clouds. If I was ever hard on you or unjust, forgive me, Frederick.
What do we have here, Monsieur Chopin? Just black ladders rising up and suddenly plunging. Your notes, sir, look like a funeral procession. Despite everything, it doesn't sound good. Do you understand? And that's why it will not sell. Besides, do you have any idea of what the piano is for? Hmm? You should try to write something like this. Then we'll talk. Sometimes think the collar has arrived just in time to adjourn the trial. I'm so tired, Michelle. We should leave this area. Wait. I must witness this. without a hat? Albert! When did you get here? I came three months ago, but they get me in quarantine. Go! No! Half of Paris is dead. Why have I been spared? They don't want me here, Albert. I haven't sold one piece. One of the publishers said, at least I could publish something of yours, but for nothing, for free. I've disappointed everybody. My father, mother, sisters, it's you. No! No, no more rush jars, no more salons. I'm tired of groveling. I groveled in Warsaw. No more advice from you, Albert, not from father. Don't you understand? This letter from the French ambassador may, op may open every Parisian door. Baroness Rothschild promoted Liszt, Thalberg, and we must go there! No! No, I won't go there! I'm done with humiliation! Why did you send me to this inhuman city? I'm leaving for America. 
In his past two years in Paris, he hasn't secured a single proposal. Not one. Paris has a short memory. Paris. We'll remember him now. Excuse me. France. As we have agreed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the immortal Franz Liszt will play several etudes by the new immortal Frédéric Chopin. Thank you very much. Franz, thank you. Thank you very much. Now it's your turn, Gregory. But, Baroness, you promised. I changed my mind. A woman's prerogative. But after list? Yes. This is your grand opportunity. Simply because you will play after him. Ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur Chopin has decided to leave Paris for America. Now we will hear what our world of music will lose if we allow this. Ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur Chopin.
I have a surprise for you. Look. Look, the tailor botched my pants. Paris may say that Chopin is a poor piano player, but they can never be permitted to say that I am badly dressed. What can I do? I can't go to Baroness Rothschild dressed like this. These are the best pants you've ever owned. Take a few steps left. Now to the right. I assure you, even fashion experts will ask you for the tailor's address. Stop it. Now my surprise. Wait a minute. Frederick, this is Jan from Poland. Who will not only be your servant, but perhaps also your good friend. Jan, how do you like these trousers? Spread your legs. Like this. Those pants are cut, as we say in Poland, halfway up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Jan. <laughs> we will be together. Yeah. Sit down. After battling the stupid man for years, I've regained my children and man I know. <laughs> France, the trial, the humiliation, abject. What you, what humiliation? <laughs> Uncle List, where's Mama crying? Women often laugh through their tears, Solange. France, help! Look! This drunken idiot. I'm sorry. This drunken idiot. I'm expected to deliver these notes by tomorrow. Actually, they need you today. Oh, you bad bear! <laughs> <laughs> Must I hear from strangers that you've been living in Paris for three years? <laughs> I don't see any problem. Use my transcriber. Oh, it's always so crowded around you. <laughs> There's plenty of room now, Albert. <laughs> plenty of room. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. I will send him a note. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Monsieur Frédéric Chopin, Madame Georges Saint. A memorable honor. For me, it's far greater. Please meet my children. Maurice Solange. Frederick. It was a pleasure meeting you. Excuse me. Oh. to go. I've got a long day tomorrow. Six pupils. Besides, Liszt's fingers are longer than mine. And what of Monsieur Chopin? He's in love. Really? He proposed last year in Marienbad. Stay just a little longer, I beg you. When's the wedding? Her father hasn't given his consent yet, so Frederick worries. Attention! Attention, please! Has anyone got a gold coin? Here. Yeah. This Louis Dor will decide. Frederick, call the toss. Frederick, heads or tails? Heads. Heads! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you long fingered Franz Liszt. <laughs>
Sir. I'm coming, I'm coming, enough! Something for you. For me? Yeah. Monsieur Frederic Chopin. Read it. I don't know if I can. I'd rather not. Y yeah, and keep reading. I just can't. Sir, please forgive my boldness, dictated by a pressing personal need. You may destroy the books if you like, since my volumes are not worth one bar of your music. You will forever have my admiration and respect. Georges Sand. What should I do with these books? Burn them, as Madame Sand wishes. All right. <clears throat> the flowers leave here, Jan. All right. Suzanne, how many times do I have to tell you how to place the silver? Oh. Something has happened to me. I failed as a mother. I can't write. Why doesn't he want to come to Noir? I don't know, Georges. But I know. He doesn't want his name associated with Sand the Terrible. I'm tired. I want to experience love. Serene. Sincere and everlasting. <gasps> Tell him. I will do anything to deserve his love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was in such a hurry to get to lunch on time. I feel nearly a heart attack. <laughs> Stop being a drunken fool, Pollitt. Uh, Is she drunk? Uh, she, I mean, accidentally I gave her some wine. Is she drunk? She's drunk. You're drunk! Mama! To your room. Go to your room. You will eat alone for ten days. Go on! I say now, go on! Me, Muffy, we must talk. Get back to the children. I'll break the door down. <laughs> Leave my mother alone! <laughs> Uncle Pollitt! Help us! Uncle Pollitt! If you don't stop seeing that bastard, I will kill you. Month salary, and you're out of my life. Bitch. Sir. 
No, Jan. Please, take it away. Will Marinia's parents ever send that letter? And what's that Georges of yours want? To visit her at Noor. What for? To tell you. She can't live without you. Hmm. All right. Tell her. A man likes to win a woman. He does not fancy. But hates to be won by such. Frederick! Frederick! Are you crazy? I've been searching for you for three hours. Three hours! What happened? A letter from Poland. We will not give our girl to a musician in poor health. Who is she, really? Who? Maria? No, that George, that Sam. Why? If I knew, would I be sitting here like a schoolboy, you moron? Wait! Wait! It's off me. George, an urgent message from Paris. Frederick has pneumonia. Come immediately, Albert. Mama. Mama. We can't start supper. The Christmas tree candles are not lit. Go. It's me, Aurora. Aurora. Give it to him. Please drink it. No, I... Drink it. What's that? Bouillon à la Georges Sand. They say it can put even the dead on their feet. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes good. Who brought it in? Miss Sand herself. Did she leave? Mm-mm. 
I can't show myself to a woman. <laughs> Be serious. Just go. You'll make her very happy. Excuse me. moved. Thank you very much for your kindness and... Uh, How do you feel? Better. <laughs> Every sip of this gives me feathers for my wings. I feel like I'm flying. One more cup? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Please. Thank you. Maestro, this illness drained your strength. We really have to rebuild it. I'm going to cook something very special for you, my famous poulard. Frederick, I will help you get your strength back. I will. This poulard is a 300-year-old recipe of uh, 20 herbs. It improves circulation, regulates the nervous system, it speeds recovery, and tastes... <laughs> tastes good. You do like chicken, Frederick? Yes. Yes, of course, but only the breast. It must be white, um, succulent. God forbid the thigh. I despise the taste. Jan? I need a large, handsome chicken. Who will make this pulag? Miss Sand. Ah, widziałem, widziałem. Od razu, kiedy zęczyła mieszać ten bulion w karku, żupowoli wy... Jani, it's not polite to speak Polish in front of our guest. If you want, I can speak my mind in French also. Monsieur Chopin joue très bon piano. Voilà. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to smile. I haven't been hired to entertain your guests. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door! Open the door! I'll tell you! Uh, 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 are you crazy? Uh, uh, uh. You leave Paris tomorrow. Forever. If you come back, I'll kill you. Frederick, I swear, it's
It's the last skeleton in my closet. My little one, let's leave everything. Take the children, leave Paris. Go where? I don't know. Farther than far. I just want to be happy. How do you feel, Frederick? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, my God! We are in paradise! <laughs> I don't have my paints. We'll be back. Maurice, paint this. Mama, Uncle Frederick, Maurice, come quick. Hurry! Ah, Valdemosa. This is an abandoned Carthusian monastery where monks escape from the world and its temptations. Are they for rent? One hundred pesetas per year, senor. Where's the kitchen? The kitchen's outside. In Mallorca, it never rains. Oh, if we had not rented. Oh. Frederick, we could rent here. What about short notice to Senor Escamillo? Move to the monastery. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Frederick. <laughs> Look. How wonderful. Eagles. Where? One, two, one, three, three, four, three, five, four six. five, six. Seven. Six. Seven! Seven eagles. Frederick, what's wrong? Nothing. Seven always brings me bad luck. Little one, as long as I'm with you, nothing bad will ever happen. Never. Never. <laughs> ever. Mama! How dare he! It's unbelievable! I haven't... I haven't given enough time to my children! Bursting into someone's bedroom as if it were a bomb! Come in, please. Please, son, come back.
Signore Scamiglio. The villa is wet and cold. I need a stove. You want a stove? Buy one. The rain is leaking through the ceiling. If you don't like my villa, you're free to move. But my advice is to ask God to forgive you. Forgive? Why? For 50 years, it hasn't rained like this in Parma. Who sinned summon the wrath of God? Get a stove from the blacksmith! <coughs> Aurora! <coughs> Throw this out! Oh, God. Go to my room. Let's go back to Paris. <coughs> Please go to my room. <coughs> I don't... I don't want to die at this hell. Take care of the stove. Take me away. Let's go back to Paris. Go to my room, Rick, Rick. in Warsaw again. Mama, did Uncle Frederick see a ghost? Go to your bed. Are you going to sleep in Monsieur Chopin's room again? Sorry, Madame Sand. He has galloping consumption. It's quite contagious. Keep your children far away. Please wash his dishes separately. Towels, underwear, everything separately. You must be very careful. Consumption is deadly. Uncle! Uncle, are these flowers? Yes, the dry ones. Oh. Thank you. I love you, son. Ah, oh, your painting improves daily. When we return to Paris, Delacroix will teach you. Mama? Yes? Do you love Monsieur Chopin? I'll explain later. Maurice? Go to him and leave me alone. Frederick, I've just discovered something. What? My son will be a great painter. Senora! Yes? What has happened? Senor Escamillo has ordered us to leave. When? Immediately. Kill me, you idiots! 
Shush! Shush! What? Can you tell this young man to shut his mouth? Doesn't my son have the right to laugh? That's a game! For them it's a game for your children and I'm dying here! But untie me! I'm dying! I hate everything! I hate you! God, untie me! I can't hear my music! Aurora, Aurora, please do something or I'll go mad! Why did you bring me here? I must return to Paris! Maybe my music is worthless. Your music? Your music is wonderful. And this prelude will be one of the greatest. You will see how it sounds on a good instrument. Pale's new piano will be in port soon. I have a surprise. Come. No, no, yes. Aurora. Come. Aurora. Monsieur Chopin? We are in the Louvre, Aurora. the exhibit of Marie Sand's paintings. Admire them, admire Aurora. the maestro. The great artist and his mother await your applause. Aurora, please, this piano is terrible. I can't work. Frederick, please. Pale is waiting for my preludes. I took an advance to come with you to New York. Can't you stop talking about yourself, Frederick? We're at the exhibition of my son. Please discuss his art. Observe the variety of subjects, the delicate lines. Very nice. Maurice, it's very nice indeed. Please do something, I implore you. You can do everything. Why have you brought this man here? Why? I want the whole world to know how proud I am. Never show him my work again. He doesn't care, Mama. Mama? Is it true, Malfi tried to kill you and Mr. Chopin with a knife? Everyone in the kitchen was disappointed you didn't send him to prison. And you would have? First of all, I would never have gone to bed with someone 15 years younger and with one eye. Who told you that? The cook. Be careful. The children may come at any moment. Oh, Maurice uh, is painting in the garden, and Solange is gathering flowers. I checked him. Come on. <laughs> no, no, please. The children see everything. You should have thought about that when you took me into this trip. I thought it was our decision. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, inspire me. I told you, it would sound marvelous. Frederick, no, you're tired. No, I have to work. Please take the children to the beach. The weather is perfect, and you will get some rest. I have to work. Playla's waiting for my preludes. Mother, we've been waiting an hour. If we're going on a walk, let's go. Your son is becoming rude. Don't you see it? Yes, I do. So why don't you do something? I despise leaving you alone. I won't be alone. Ah. 
Our servant says he has tuberculosis. We could catch it. Shouldn't you send him to a hospital? There are no hospitals in Mallorca, Morris. If there were, they wouldn't accept him. Why not? <sighs> they don't like us here. Why? One day, I will explain everything. Everything? It's always one day I'll explain everything. One day. Don't you think that one day will be too late? What are you trying to say? Maurice! Chopin worried? We'd better hurry! God forbid he dies! If Mr. Chopin is worried, we, we, we must run to him immediately! Maurice, wait! No! Maurice, stay! No! Come back! You're going back to Mr. Chopin to bed with him without shame! You told me, Maurice, we're going to Mallorca to cure your arthritis! Maurice! Mother liar! You think I don't know why you brought Chopin with us? I know much more than you think! I'm going back to my father! Maurice! My breath, my heart. It'll pass. Drink. What is it? Drops. They'll calm you. Come to me. No. The children aren't asleep yet. The children. All I ever hear is the children. Should I poison them? Don't be vulgar. I'm trying to be reasonable. Time to sleep. Stay for a moment. Sit by me. Please sit by me. But I'm comfortable here. Please. There are times when I have this nasty impulse to hate healthy people. I hate you, hate your children. Am I insane? I will change your shirt. I won't infect you. I'm changing your shirt. No, thank you. You don't want me anymore. You are terrified by that Spanish quack sentence. Please, don't provoke me. Don't provoke me or I will say something you may not like. Go on. Go on, tell me. Tell me. Let me go. You can go, but tell me what you're afraid of. Tell me or... Or what? Tell me. I didn't bring you to Mallorca to place you above my children. They come first. Don't ever forget that. Get out. Get out. Go to your children. And don't ever come back again.
So you'll write your greatest masterpieces at Nor. The world will say, Frédéric Chopin lived and worked here. You don't love me anymore. I do. I do, little one. But our love has changed. Changed? Maybe not changed. Not changed. But what ever bound us has evolved into something more beautiful. You loathe me because of my disease. No! No, please, no! Not that again. Please. What is going to become of us? Nothing. Nothing. We'll, we'll remain friends. You want me out of now? No, every day without you won't make any sense. You'll stay at no one. It must be terrible for a woman. What? Tears. A man's tears. Little one. My little one. They all cried. Musée, my husband, Malfi. Something else, maybe? Unattractive emotion. It plagues the talentless. So because Maurice lacks talent, he's jealous. <laughs> Solange, stop being judgmental, please. Sorry. Frederick? Hmm? Tell me something about your family in Warsaw. About your mother, father, sisters. Do you miss them? It's Skylark. Where? There. Oh, Are the Skylarks in Poland? <laughs> yes, of course. Surely they don't sing as beautifully as in France. Do you love France? I do. I, I do love my father's country very much. But my French grammar and spelling are poor, and uh, I have a thick accent, and you poke fun at that, so. I never do, never. Never? Never? Never. <laughs> Solange. France is a great place to live. Um, French hospitality. I've overstayed my welcome at Nanso. It's not true. Why did I let this happen? Because you're so lonely. You need someone to understand you, who can love you. Do you still love my mother? You promised, remember? One day, I will put her out of your heart. Ah! Why are we stopping? You will see. Solange! <laughs> 
Why did you bring me here? You will see. Goodbye, farewell, Frederick. Solange, come back here immediately. Would you be sorry if I drowned? I would feel terrible. Now come back. Ah! Ah! Solange! Will you cry at my funeral? Ah! Yes, Solange, please, I beg you. Ah! Come back! I have a nice figure. So... You are... Who am I? Who am I really? Put your trousers on and let's go. What a pity you're not a sculptor, Frederick. I would pose naked for you. Clothes on. Please. Please. Your little beauty went swimming in front of him. Naked. Not quite. I told you, Suzanne, Monsieur Chopin likes his chocolate very sweet. All right. Right away, ma'am. And another thing. My guest has a very delicate stomach. Cut back on pepper and spice, please. He had rampant diarrhea yesterday. The runs. What's wrong with the runs? Anyone can have them, not only Monsieur Chopin. Why, it's plain the pepper. And the chocolate has to be served hot. I'll serve it hot. I'll do it. No, Madame said it's my job. Madame is wrong. Here. Yes, ladies. Madeleine wouldn't let me bring Chopin his chocolate. Please leave us, Madeleine. Well, who will take him chocolate, you or me? I will. Maybe you want to hit me. When one cannot love, can one at least be jealous? Your apple polisher threw a tantrum over who should bring you chocolate. Madeline? Or my daughter? Decide. This infernal coolness of yours drives me mad. Madeleine's in Chopin's room, Mama. They are doing something indecent. How do you know? I eavesdropped. Hmm. You shouldn't have. Mama, how could he? He's so sickly and brilliant. The sickly, brilliant ones? are all alike. But out of jealousy, you hired that street harlot just to spite me. You! Sol, I'm not that mean. Why did he do it? Ask him. It's despicable. Chopin with that. My God. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Mother? Mother? What's happened? Mother, wake up. You're drunk, Salon. Mother, I want to marry Chopin. Oh, no. Oh, go crazy. Yes, exactly what I want. I want you crazy. What a spectacular end to your stormy career. Paris will say how many masterpieces Georges Sand would have written if only she had not gone mad. What are you saying, my child? Mother, he loves me. I feel it. He loves nothing but his music. It's not true. Maybe it's just you he can't love. I'm sorry. Doesn't Sam. stop playing, I will go What's mad. Tell him to stop. No, son. He doesn't work for fun, Maurice. Please. Calm down. Restrict it out. Calm down. This is unbearable. It's, it's someone it's hammering a long it. nail He's into working. my head. Twelve hours Maurice, a day. Calm down. Please. Calm Please. down. Please. Son. Please. Go to bed. Please help me. Go to bed. Rest. Please. I will talk to him. Please. Who's there? It's me, son. Come in. You're drinking again. I am. Go to your room and sleep it off, Sol. I love you. I love you. Let's leave now. I will go anywhere with you. Even the grave? My next address, you know. Even the grave, my love. Solange. Leave us. And if I won't? Then I will throw you out. I brought... I brought you... Frederick, I came about Maurice. Not now. Not now. Let me finish.
Not a single page for two weeks. George. I have problems. I can't concentrate. George, the bookstores are waiting. It's in the contract. I need your new novel in three weeks. Not four or five. Three. Impossible. Your contract is cancelled. I demand a refund for my losses. Now. You demand a refund? You have made millions from me. Great. Sue me. Maurice shot himself. I had a strange dream. I dreamt I died. My soul came to you to make sure you knew I was dead. You didn't cry. But I felt your despair. up happy. What about me? First my father left me. He didn't love me. Now I'm frightened you will be taken from me. No, Morris. I will stay with you. Forever. Jan! What's that melody you're playing? Who can remember, sir? I scrape, yearning for something. Come here, Jan. That was in D major. I don't know any majors. I'm playing what's here. It went something like this. Jan, play whatever's in your heart. Just tell me, Bullet. No, no. Oh, my God. Well, there's so much paper. Be truthful. Everyone lies, including my mother. Is there some worth here? Maurice, perhaps you should write like your mother. I don't know, but I sense you, you could be a good writer. Mmm, this is one of your best works. And they'll be better and better, don't you think? Tell me why I cannot express what I feel and see onto the canvas. It's there. I just can't apply it. Because my son does not have the patience. Think of how many times Chopin's changed a single bar. Single bar, but after weeks of struggling, he finds what he was searching for. In art, besides talent, you must have patience, Maurice. Please, do not ever compare my painting ability with Chopin. Think about me. Pray to God he will chase away the bad thoughts which disturb my peace here. Our house! 
house is not a blacksmith shop, you vulgar, boorish idiot! Away, Bat! What's going on? That pumpkin struck me, Mother. I didn't do a thing. Is that true, Jan? Don't you believe me? My word against his? Throw him out! Get out, stupid idiot! Maurice, how did it happen? It doesn't matter how. I'm not living under the same roof as that boar. Chopin would never agree. You know how close they are. Then they both must go, or I'll go to my father. Maurice, Maurice, I beg you. I will try to convince Chopin, but it won't be easy. My son, my son, you know how Frederick can be. I know. I know, Mother. I remember everything. That night in Mallorca when I saw you in bed with oh. Chopin will stay in my memory forever. Please forgive me. Have mercy on me. Paris will say your son's a son through Chopin out of Noir. Chopin! Always about Chopin! Chopin is upset! The house is in mourning! Chopin has a runny nose! You wipe it! Chopin has diarrhea! You wipe him! They're his servants! Emperor of fashion! Gods a la Chopin! Vests a la Chopin! Favorite of the crowds! What are you afraid of? Paris will be upset? And about what? Because I, your son, dare to say no to the genius. I will say no to the genius. Because I have my birthright to do so. Because this is my home! It's almost one in the morning. Time for bed. The doctor ordered plenty of rest. I will soon have permanent rest, Jan. Please don't. Please leave us alone, Jan. The night is very damp and you are at the open window. Frederick, I came. I know. About Jan. My son is wasting away. Tell Maurice if that's what he wishes. One of your mares. I believe Cleopatra came up lame. Albert noticed it before he left for Paris. She'll have to be reshod. Not eating. I just can't. Where was I? I don't remember. I remember, Georges, the name of Alexander the Great's horse. Bucephalus. Well, yes. Who cares what Alexander the Great called his nag? That's not grass. It grows in Poland, in meadows and roadside ditches. Here in France, we call it piggy grass. Piggy grass. <laughs> Why people named lovely flowers after swine, only God knows. Maurice, look. These little ones. What a delicate blue around the petals. One day you should paint them for me. Oh, Frederick. The steam from them can help your cough. Can anyone tell me who makes the best poulard in the whole of France? Who? The great George Sand herself. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne, the chicken.
Are you sick? Hurt? Say something! I'm at a loss. This coolness is driving me insane. You gave me the leg. Your son got the breast. That's what this fuss is about? I am leaving Noir. Maman, why did you leave? Sh out! Out of my room! What did you say? Maurice! Do you realize it's only by my good will that I don't show you? Don't say another word! Please. Fred, and forget the chicken. There's more white meat. White meat? Our friend. What? Wishes to leave us. White He's meat? upset. I gave you the chicken breast and him a leg, which he does not like. You understand? Frederick, I was distracted. I was distracted. Please forgive me. And now you two, please shake hands. Please. Am I to believe that a piece of chicken is your reason for leaving my mother? It's in poor taste. Sure, San is too great a novelist to write such a stupid ending to this stupid love affair. As my mother wishes, sir. Frederick, shake his hand and let's forget about this, please. Please. <laughs> You may catch a cold. There's another world out there. Even better than this. Amen. Could that world be without pain? If I knew, I'd fly you there immediately. Any creature doesn't break its heart, flying thousands of miles overseas. Help me with this. Wait. All right, All right. You can't, or you don't want me. Come in. Will you leave us for a moment? What if I don't? Then I'll ask Frederick to help. I hope he won't refuse. So? Yes, please. All these trunks and suitcases. You'll only be carrying them back here next summer. I will miss him. enough sleep and be sure to keep warm. Paris can be dreadful in winter. After the new year, I'll come see you. Say goodbye to Maurice. Maurice? Frederick wants to say goodbye. Maurice, become the great painter as your mother wishes. Goodbye. Goodbye.
How much do they pay him to torture that poor keyboard? I'm going to create a scene Paris will never forget if you don't be quiet. Children, please, have pity. <laughs> I'm sad. Master <laughs> Clesinger, to you. Happiness to you, Mademoiselle... Solange. Uh, Solange. Mama, did you know that before Mr. Clesinger became a sculptor, he was a member of the cavalry? <laughs> like Uncle Pollock. Only with much lower rank. Right, Sergeant Clesinger? <clears throat> Solange, that's not funny. Oh, no. Today, everything is funny. I would eat your cigar if you asked me. Oh. <laughs> Please touch it. Ah, do you like it? Like a stone. Is everything on your body that muscular, Sergeant? Solange, don't be vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> Maestro Clesinger. Maestro Clesinger, get up. Come here. I want to see you. Some wine. yourself. To you, Sergeant. I decided to start ahead of Madame Sand for once. Why? Why, Solange? To carry on the family tradition of scandal. I've given you everything, Sol. Everything. Everything. Everything but love. That you reserve for Maurice. My child. What a cruel thing to say. Cruel. Cruel. You were never interested in me. I grew up like a wild thing. Children have great memories, Mother. The wedding is when? May, 17. That's it. My father died on 17th of May. I'm 37 years old. It's 1847. And Solange is to marry Clessinger on the 17th of May. Seven is definitely... <coughs> 
my most unlucky number. <coughs> Jan! Jan! Talk to Mulan immediately. Why is George allowing this? I don't understand any of it, Albert. Do you? So? I see no good reason to lend you an additional 8,000 francs. My daughter's dowry was very generous. Mama, this is the last time the creditors have been after us for weeks. No. Why? I will answer your question, sir. My mother just doesn't like you. And you, out of my house. Touch my son again and, and I will kill you. Thank you. Thank you. This lowly sculptor is honored to be slapped by the great Georges Sand. I can crush you like a rope! Get out! Out of my house! Both of you! Get out! Now! Solange came here in Chopin's carriage. What? Chopin, you wouldn't give her... Why not? She and Chopin... I'm positive. I don't believe it. Your eight years with that consumptive is your worst novel, Madame Sand. Frederick, what's happened? I received a letter from Madame Sand. I am shocked by your behavior, which has tragically confirmed my worst suspicions. I would wish you a speedy recovery. And with Solange at and in your bed, I have no doubt you will recover. May God be with you. I thank God for the last eight years of our friendship. I thank God they are finally over. Happy coincidence. It's been so long. The disposition of Providence is odd, indeed. When was the last time you heard from your daughter? A week ago. Not since? Is something wrong? No. No, just the reverse. Solange gave birth to a daughter. I'm so happy to tell you this, madame. <sighs> Frederick forgot something. Solange had an easy delivery. And the baby's fine.
Are you well, Frederick? Yes. Yes. Mama. Mama, a letter from Frederick. From Frederick? Read it. Paris, June 25th, 1849. My dearest, my love, if you can find a way, please come. I'm weak and your presence will do more for me than anything the doctors can. If you're short of money, please borrow it. When I'm stronger, I can easily earn enough to pay it back. At the moment, I have nothing in the world and cannot even send you one penny. Yours, Frederick. Not sleeping? No. You must be tired. A bit. I'm so happy you came. Now I'm sure to get well. It's so lovely. Mama knitted it herself. Mama's hair is now white. Very white. I must still go to the castle square to feed the pigeons. Yes, Papa Lee. Remember the little star? The song our mama always sang to us. Oh, gwiazdeczko, coś błyszczała, gdym ja ujrzał świat. Gwiazdko mała, twój promieczek z blad. Czemu to już nie świecisz, jak za dawnych lat? Czemu to mi, gwiazdko mała, twój promyczek z bladu? Niech przez chwilę cię zobaczy. Jak dziecinnych snach Niech zapłacze dawnym płaczem Czystym jak twój blask Zanim mnie żelazną ręką Zechce zgładzić czas Zaświeć mi jak w dawne święta Gwiazdko Your passport, please. Returning from? Paris. Anything to declare? No. Withholding items or transporting contraband harmful to the Imperial Crown is punishable. I came from my brother's funeral. No jewelry, gold? No. Then what are you bringing home? A heart. Yes, yes, go quickly before I change my mind. Next! <laughs> 